Welcome back. Let's talk about NAT or Network Address Translation. This is the default mode in VirtualBox. In this mode, all your virtual machines act as a NAT client and every virtual machine is assigned the same IP address 10.0.2.15. Each virtual machine thinks that it is in its own isolated network. What happens behind the scenes is that a gateway on VirtualBox with IP address 10.0.2.2 rewrites the packets originating from the guest virtual machine to make them appear as though they are coming from the host machine. So what really happens is, so if you are communicating to let's say a web server, your web server will think that it is communicating with your host computer rather than your virtual machines that are residing on that host computer. Now in this scenario, outgoing traffic is permitted because when you when the traffic is outgoing, it will use the gateway to go out and the gateway can rewrite those packets. But incoming connections for those virtual machines are not allowed. Now let's have a look at a diagram on what this actually means. So let's say this is your host computer and it has two guest virtual machines both on NAT and both have the same IP of 10.0.2.15. I'll just say 10, 0, 2, 15. And there's a virtual box gateway here, 2.2. .2. Let's say this is the web server within the internet. So when you communicate, from your virtual machine, from here, if you are trying to communicate with this web server, what will happen is, you will send the packets onto your gateway and the gateway will make it appear to this web server as though the packets are coming from the host machine. So your web server will send its replies to the host rather than directly to the guest virtual machine. Now. Let's just trial out these um, er, uh, methods in our VirtualBox Manager. So, when you go to our VirtualBox Manager, to assign a virtual machine to a NAT, we have to right click, go to settings. Because it's the default mode, if you haven't made any configuration changes, um, it will always be set to NAT. But if you have made any changes and you want to reassign these network adapters to NAT, you can choose from the drop down list and choose NAT, click OK, let's go to the other virtual machine as well and do the same changes. Now if we open up our virtual machines, and if we do IF config, we can see that I've got the IP address 10.0.2.15 on my virtual machine. Yep. And let me try and ping internet. I can ping the internet. So what's happening behind the scenes is that if we go back to our drawing, when I ping the internet, my virtual machine will send the packets to the gateway and the gateway will make it appear to the internet as though these packets are coming from this host machine. But let's say this gate, this web server is trying to initiate a connection here. So let's say we're trying to initiate a connection to virtual machine. Let's see if that happens. So to do that, we can ping this IP address. And as we can see, because it's on NAT, 
my host cannot ping the NATed virtual machine. So my host will not be able to ping NAT because host does not know that these virtual machines exist. So this concludes um, the lecture about NAT. I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you. Bye.